Hello. So moving along with our unit packet, we're going to ask the following questions. How many permutations are possible when objects repeat? So just remember, a permutation is just an arrangement of objects. So in this example, we will be given four letters, A, B, B, C. And what's unique about this problem is we now have repetitions. So as we learned previously, if all the letters were different, it would be very simple to calculate the answer. You would just take 4 factorial. And that would be 24. However, um, the problem here is that two letters repeat. And these two letters are identical. So one way uh, to determine the total number of uh, permutations is we, once again we could list them out and here I provide a list of all the permutations for those four letters and we get an answer of 12. However there is a formula that we can use to avoid having to do all this work because it's going to be um, too time consuming to try to list all the permutations out. So the formula I have is listed here. Let me just kind of show you what the formula looks like. Um, so whenever we have a repetition of identical items, our numerator is we, we compute the factorial of all the items as if they, none of them repeat. And then we just count the number of re repetitions of each item and we take the factorial of each of those numbers and multiply that out for all the different repetitions. So let's go ahead and rework this example using the formula. Hmm. Let me see here. Let's see. So um, keep in mind that there's four letters. We n is four. A repeats one time. B repeats two times. C repeats one time. Thus, our numerator will be 4 factorial. There's four letters. And then the A repeats once, so we take 1 factorial. The B repeats two times, so we take 2 factorial. And the C repeats once, 1 factorial. So 4 factorial is 24. And we're multiplying these factors. So 1 factorial is 1, 2 factorial is 2, 1 factorial is 1. You multiply that out to get 2. 24 divided by 2 is 12. And I think this is a much cleaner process to get our result as opposed to listing out all the permutations. Let's work out another example. Let's say we want to find the number of permutations uh, in the letters that, are, that compose the word statistics. Well, n is 10, we have 10 letters. S repeats three times, T repeats three times, A repeats once, I repeats two times, and C repeats one time. So we take that information and we plug it into our formula. All right, so in our numerator it's 10 factorial, and then here we put our repetitions, take the factorial of each repetition and then multiply out the results. So we get in our numerator 3,628,800 divided by, uh, just remember one factor is just one, so it's really three factor of six times six times one times two times one, we're gonna get 72. Divide the two values and we have our final answer which is 50,400. Uh, here's our formula that we would use. Remember, we only use this formula when we have repetitions. You could pause the video, and there's a couple of examples that we'll have you work on. The answers will be posted at the bottom of the module. So moving on, uh, there's one other permutation rule. So the first permutation rule is when we're using all the objects. We just take the factorial. The second permutation rule is once again we have all the objects but some repeat so then we apply the previous formula. But now in this third rule 
they're going to, instead of using all the objects that are given, so here we have the letters A, B, C, we're only going to use two of those objects and find all the permutations of those two objects. So what I've done here is, once again, I've listed all the permutations for the two objects. Um, remember, each arrangement is a different permutation. So AB is different than BA. And we just count all the permutations, and it turns out that there are six. Now, as uh, previously mentioned, it's sometimes there's way too many permutations to list out. So there is a nice, clean formula that we can use. And this is our formula. It just states the following. So we say the formulas for the number of R distinct objects. So R is the number of items you're selecting. Um, and remember, it's always a selection without replacement. So those items are not put back into the list of objects. And the total amount of items is N. So R at the R is typically less than N. R could be equal to N, but that's that just saying you have you're using all your objects but you always want the smaller value typically to be on the right side of p and our formula is just n factorial divided by n minus r factorial and that's going to tell us how to compute all these permutations so let's kind of go through this here with this formula that i've listed let me increase the size so n is 3, we have 3 letters, we're selecting 2 and we're finding all the permutations. So using the formula we have 3 factorial in the numerator, 3 minus 2 factorial. 3 factorial is 6, 3 minus 2 is 1, and 1 factorial is 1. So we get an answer of 6. And over here we have all the 6 listed out, so there are 6 permutations. Now what's nice about the modern calculators is that this permutation feature uh, is uh, one of the functions that you can use in your calculator. So um, I, I do have some videos on how to calculate uh, factorials and permutations. So look for my videos, they might be below the module at the very bottom. Um, we're going to have... Um, you folks now go ahead and work out these four problems and um, uh, just remember to always post questions if you have any questions or send me an email um, and just you know stay focused and keep motivated we'll go ahead and stop this video here